Hi there, this is Andrew with craftybeetroot.com. Welcome to the shop this evening. Today we're doing part two of Can It Be Fixed? And what is it that we're focusing on today? It is these two stools that we found on the side of the road. It was hard rubbish pickup. We were walking past and we saw these and they just looked too good to pass up. The wooden structure is really solid. They're not creaky, they're not rickety, they're just good to go. So the process should be pretty basic for furniture restoration. We're gonna strip the vinyl off, strip the foam off, sand back the wood, recoat it with some varnish, possibly stain, we'll see how that goes. New foam, new vinyl, and we are done. So the first thing we need to do is just kind of strip off all this extra stuff and just jump right in. So I've seen this trick on YouTube before where you snap your fingers or you clap your hands and it just makes everything already done. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I mean, you never know. So let's, uh, let's try this. Uh, well, I mean, that, that didn't really seem to work. Um, let's try it again. No, it's still not working. Um, let's just try the cut the hand thing. Okay. Um, I'm a little bit nervous. Wait, did you look at that? It worked. Ha! Anyway, all right. So now that we've got all of the junk off the top of it, we can actually learn a little bit more about the history of these I would say stools, but it's quite apparent now it was actually a chair in a previous life. Um, both of them are the same. We can see that at some point it was converted from a chair into a stool. I've got no plans on turning it back into a chair with a back or anything, but it's kind of interesting to know that the different life that something's had. And that's why I love fixing things up and that's why I wanted to bring you along for the journey because every time you fix something up, you add another layer to the story of the piece. And really, the thing is a thing, but if you can add stories to it, it just it makes it come alive. But this time, we're gonna cue the music and we're gonna do this the long way, because where's the fun? cushions. I have some foam left over. Um, this is from my guitar field. It's a very high dense foam. And then we have some foam actually for seat cushions. My wife has this from a project that she never finished so we're going to use them up. So what I'm thinking is we're going to do a double layer. 
So we're gonna layer it up because each one of these individually doesn't really work that well. I mean, it's better than nothing, better than the bare wood, but we're gonna have the two layers just to make it a little bit more comfortable. Then we will cover it with this lovely premium vinyl. Um, but staple gun that on and we are done. And with that, we're gonna cut these down to size and stick them together and then we will staple gun the vinyl on top. Let's get to it. <laughs> In a late minute plot twist, uh, my vinyl I bought isn't wide enough. Who knew? So, plan B. We've got this leftover vinyl here. We used to have it under our tablecloth. Um, problem is, is it's got some marks on it. So we're gonna try and clean this up and we're gonna use this. If not, if not, I guess I'll be uh, headed to the store at some point to get some more. But hopefully this will work. Everybody, plan better when you're doing these projects. Oh yeah, I think we can make this work. All right. So, can it be fixed? Yeah, we got this one fixed too. Less of a fix and more of a restoration, but either way, very cheap project. I ended up not even using the cheap vinyl that I had bought. Had this stuff left over from previously, so all I needed was some sandpaper and the varnish, and I can't even remember how much that was, but I didn't even use that much of it. So, really happy with how these turned out. So I might have made this a bit smaller, maybe made it circular, but really it doesn't matter. These are gonna be really comfortable to sit on at a bench or wherever they end up being. But we've always wanted some stools just to have because they are useful and now we've got a couple of them. And if you're interested in more builds like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel or check out craftybeachroot.com. Got a couple more projects in the works, a few more things to fix up. So look forward to catching you on the next one. Thank you.
Juan, ¿cómo me William?